San Diego Mesa College President Pamela Luster Tuesday announced her retirement, effective June 30th. Luster has served as president of Mesa College since 2011. And joins us on the Kogo News Live line. Good morning, Pamela. Good morning. So 10 years as the president of one of the largest community colleges in the state. Uh, what are some of the highlights? You know, the, the highlights are always the people, right? We've been able to hire you know, almost half the faculty, most of our managers, and then, of course, the students. The way that we transform lines through community colleges is so meaningful, and uh, it's just been an absolute pleasure and honor. Well, you know, one of the big things is ensuring student equity, and how did you do that at your campus? You know, I think we really turned internally and decided that rather than think that students were coming with all different levels of skills, we decided we needed to be ready for that. And so what we did is we started to look at systems and how we teach and who's teaching and, and all the services that we had, and we made ourselves ready for the students and uh, really invited them in wherever they are and helped them get through the next level. Well, you've been doing this for a decade, and hindsight is always twenty twenty. Is there anything that you would have done differently? Oh, gosh, it's such a great question. You know, I, I don't think so. Um, you know, I'm sure there's little decisions along the way that, that could have been seen differently at the time. But, you know, just spending more time with people. I mean, really, it's the relationships that you build that create a great institution. So you were also able to uh, offer bachelor's degrees. Is that correct? It is, yes. We are one of 15 pilots. In fact, there's a bill sitting right now on Governor Newsom's desk to sign the permitizing of those degrees. And so Mesa College has a health information management degree, and we've had now uh, three years of graduates, and all of those students are out in the, in the world, all with jobs and fantastic jobs at that. So uh, it's, very, it's a very exciting time, and Mesa's done a great job with it. What do you see ahead for community colleges as we you know, start to see those bachelor's degrees instead of just associates? Because for a long time, it was just associates degrees that you could get at a, at a city college sort of situation. Um, what, what, other, what other jobs do you think that you can prepare kids for? That's a great question. I think that one of the things that we're really clear on is these are workforce development opportunities. And so I know that for instance, City College is, is looking at a number of degrees, uh, Miramar as well, and then Mesa will probably uh, do more. But they're really ones that meet the local workforce demand that it can be done at a community college and are not offered at a CSU or UC. So it's really filling that gap. But especially post-pandemic, when you think about the workforce changing, um, we're really nimble. And so we can create those degrees in areas where the workforce is needed. So it's really limitless depending on where the jobs are. Well, congratulations on your accomplishments and uh, your retirement. Pamela Lester, thank you so much and uh, best of luck. Thank you so much.